Hello, uh, hi everyone. Uh, welcome to the presentation about Keycloak and uh, financial grade API, so-called FAPI in shortcut. Uh, so about me, I am working as software engineer in Red Hat since 2009 and I'm working on Keycloak project since 2013 and I am a graduate of FIMUNI. So I still remember this building uh, a few years ago, uh, just out of curiosity. And uh, so Keycloak, uh, is it someone here who has some experience with Keycloak? Okay, thank you. So uh, yeah, so some people have experience and uh, I will just shortly introduce Keycloak uh, and then I will talk mostly about Keycloak and FAPI. Uh, so Keycloak is uh, like authentication, uh, it's it's web application and uh, it provides authentication for uh, web applications mostly. And it provides SSO, uh, which means that uh, when you integrate Keycloak with your uh, applications, uh, then you can log in just once and uh, your users can automatically log in to all your applications. Uh, because of the SSO, like single sign on. There is also single sign out, so when a user log in, uh, log out from his browser session, uh, then he is automatically logged out from all the clients. And the communication between client, uh, client applications and uh, the and Keycloak server is based on the protocols like OpenID Connect and OAuth 2 and SAML. Uh, and uh, yeah, so there is also identity management. So Keycloak uh, has stores all the data about users and roles and uh, other metadata in a relational database so that uh, when you use Keycloak, you don't need to care about, st uh, about persistence of your users uh, and their credentials in the database because Keycloak takes care for all of this for you. Uh, there is also abstraction for uh, like clients and uh, each client represents one uh, application so that uh, just like trusted applications uh, can uh, uh, are permitted to use Keycloak for login their users. Uh, which is also important from the perspective of the FAPI. Uh, Keycloak has also UI like admin console for administrators, uh, account management for the users where users can manage their accounts, their profile, their credentials and other things. There are login forms and registration for, uh, forms uh, which are displayed to users during login. So you don't uh, need to like provide any UI because Keycloak uh, does this for you. Uh, but there are like also teams, which means that you can uh, like uh, customize the UI if you want. And uh, there are other cool features like social brokering, uh, which allows delegate Keycloak uh, like login uh, to like social providers like Facebook or Google or Twitter or others. And uh, or other OpenID Connect provider, there is possibility to provision your users from LDAP, for example, or from other third-party user storages. And uh, there are va like various two-factor authentication mechanisms supported, like TOTP or WebAuthn. So there is support for Kerberos, for example, and various other things. And. Uh, Regarding your applications, uh, on your application side, you may need to have like OpenID Connect uh, adapter, uh, which implements client side of the OpenID Connect protocol or SAML protocol. But with the uh, with the context of FAPI, the OpenID Connect is more important because FAPI integration uses uh, the OpenID Connect only. And uh, you can either use third-party adapters uh, based on OpenID Connect or uh, the Keycloak. Keycloak also has some adapters for some platforms mostly based on Java. Uh, so the typical login flow works in a way that the user opens the application and clicks some kind of login button. And uh, application redirects user, user's browser to Keycloak login page. 
and the user authenticates and then application sends uh, the authorization response to the to the browser and this authorization response is processed by the application which passes some data from it like code param code uh, authorization code uh, mostly for and uh, ap uh, application then needs to send uh, so called like token request uh, to exchange the code for the uh, for the tokens which are then uh, which can be used by applications to uh, like uh, yeah like to tokens uh, have data about users and uh, can be used to s uh, to send requests to other services and the token request uh, is sent directly from the application to keycloak server so it's this communication happens outside of browser usually and uh, uh, then uh, when the uh, client application has the tokens, it can uh, 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 use, use it to uh, invoke some other REST services. Uh, and the REST service can verify if the token really comes from Keycloak, either by verifying the signature or by sending the request to Keycloak to check like, if this is really a trusted token. So that's about uh, Keycloak. In, uh, in general, and now about FAPI, and what does what is the FAPI? Uh, so, financial grade API or FAPI is set of rules uh, to be used in the financial and banking applications, and uh, it it's mostly focused on these applications, but it can be used on uh, in other kind of applications as well. And uh, it's uh, like uh, th those applications used standard OpenID Connect and OAuth protocol, uh, like uh, OpenID Connect is the extension of OAuth. And FAPI, uh, FAPI has is a set of additional security requirements uh, for the Keycloak and for the client application and for the service, uh, which uh, like, has some additional security restrictions which like those parties needs to uh, implement so it's like more secure uh, open id connect uh, in uh, like in shortcut uh, and uh, fapi current uh, main version of the fapi is fapi 1 which has like two main specifications uh, like called baseline and advanced and fapi baseline is less strict uh, less strict and and it's targeted for the for the clients uh, which needs to protect apis with moderate inherent risk and it has some requirements for key sizes and algorithms which needs to be like more secure than what the uh, open id connect allows by default for example, it requires that consent screen uh, is sh always shown to the user during authentication. It requires Pixie, which is like uh, some kind of the extension of OpenID Connect, uh, targeted mostly for the public clients, uh, which increases security in a way that it's uh, that like just the trusted uh, client can exchange the code for the. Uh, token and for confidential clients uh, which are client applications which needs to authenticate uh, to keycloak during uh, during the login uh, the secured the client authentication mechanism needs to be secured uh, based on jwt or mtls like if you are familiar with the open id connect uh, you may know that the most uh, widely used um, client authentication mechanism is based on client secret. So in the token request, the client usually sends just the a secret and uh, key, it's just plain text string which Keycloak can verify. So this is easy, but it's not so secure. So like FAPI tries to mitigate uh, this. And FAPI advanced is targeted for even more, uh, more uh, secured. Uh, or with the, for the clients, uh, client applications with high uh, requirements of, of security 
and uh, it has even more strict requirements like it uh, requires uh, that authorization request needs to be signed uh, and authorization response needs to be also protected and uh, against like uh, tampering. Also, it requires central con state access tokens, which means that uh, like client applications, when communicate with Keycloak, it uses mutual TLS, and the tokens uh, sent to the user has some kind of hash, uh, which is uh, based on the certificate sent by the client. Uh, so th uh, there are also some reg regional variants of uh, of FAPI, uh, and uh, like various regions have their own uh, like ex uh, flavors of the FAPI specification. Like for example, Open Banking Brazil is uh, like used by Brazil financial institutions, and Australia CDR is used in Australia. Open Banking UK. Uh, it's it's based in the UK and so on, and uh, Keycloak is among other things is used by uh, like provides also Open Banking Brazil and Australia CDR, and uh, it uh, it has <coughs> like uh, sub, uh, yeah it uh, it has certifications with these uh, platforms. And uh, yeah, so FAPI certifications, uh, like the OpenID F Connect Foundation has some certification which allows like implementations like Keycloak to be certified. Uh, and uh, like if key, uh, Keycloak, like uh, there is some uh, like shared test suite which the implementations can uh, uh, like use. And uh, if they pass the certifications, they can uh, they are mentioned in the certification page as officially certified uh, implementations. And Keycloak is certified uh, with OpenID Connect uh, and also with Puppy Generic and Puppy Siba, which is like extension of uh, Siba targeted for the like applica client applications without browser access. Uh, so now client policies, uh, client policies is a Keycloak feature uh, which is uh, used for easily, uh, easily set up Keycloak to, to use or to <coughs> conform with the profiles like FAPI and uh, it uh, enforces client beha behavior for various uh, in various events like during the open id connect requests and uh, this feature of keycloak makes it easier uh, to make sure that your uh, clients supports fapi baseline or fapi advanced according to your requirements uh, here are the building blocks of uh, of keycloak of client policies but i will probably uh, skip directly to the demo and uh, I will try to show that uh, the in practice uh, so is it visible or is it 10 minutes okay uh, thank you yeah so I have some simple demo application which uh, is just used to show some uh, like f workflows of open ID connect uh, and like first, I can start with sending requests to OpenID Connect well-known endpoint, uh, like uh, Keycloak as, and each OpenID Connect implementations has so-called well-known endpoint, which client application can use to retrieve some metadata about the available algorithms and uh, endpoints uh, where the browser can initiate login or the token request can be sent and so on. And in next step, I can register client application because OpenID Connect also provides a way to register clients. Uh, so for this, I've, I need some kind of the initial access token. Yes, so uh, I can log into the to the Keycloak admin console. And uh, here in client registration, I can create initial access token, which can be used for uh, to register 10 clients, and uh, it expires in one day. 
and it's this kind of uh, string which can be uh, copy pasted in the application like this way and now I can register client uh, my client registration request looks like this. It's, it uh, has some met methods. And now I want to register uh, like public client, which does not require client authentication. And uh, at this moment, I don't have FAPI enabled. Uh, so I have just plain OpenID Connect. Uh, so when I have client registered, I can uh, see how the login URL looks like. Uh, th this URL is used by the browser. Uh, and it contains like various parameters uh, directly in the query string, like client ID uh, is the refer references to client application. Redirect URI is the uh, URI where I will be uh, locked uh, or redirected after the where key cloak will redirect user after a successful login and uh, so on. And now I, when I click to this link, it direct, uh, directly redirects me to the Keycloak uh, login page. And uh, in FAPI, it's common practice to uh, like uh, enable multi-factor authentication. So for this user, I have enabled like web Auth security key, uh, which I can log in. It's like security key on which I have on my laptop, connected on my laptop, and which was previously registered to the user account. And now, like authorization response was uh, after successful authentication of the user, the authorization response was sent to the uh, like to this URL, and uh, like client application then used token request to send to use the code from the URL. The code is here, and some other parameters, and uh, it sends to the Keycloak uh, to the token request to the Keycloak token endpoint, and the Keycloak uh, returns like set of the tokens. And these tokens contains are like signed JSON uh, strings with some data about uh, user and uh, some like various metadata. And uh, like now when I want that my, uh, I want uh, now to be my client applications uh, to be and more uh, more secured and support FAPI. Uh, so I will uh, like each like in tab client policies in the Keycloak admin console. Uh, I can see that there are profiles uh, which are already defined of uh, in Keycloak by default, and uh, there are profiles called FAPI baseline and FAPI advanced. And FAPI baseline is the profile which enforces the rules. Uh, for FAPI baseline uh, specification. So uh, like, yeah, so clients, uh, clients uh, who, like if, if client needs to support FAPI baseline, if it, uh, for example, needs to use Pixie and uh, you are secure URLs based on HTTPS and consent required and so on. And uh, it's not used by default because uh, there, there is no policy so I will need to create policy, which is like linking between the profile and uh, the condition, which I can specify. So for simply a simple use case, I want all clients in my realm, uh, like all, all my clients to be uh, FAPI baseline compliant. So I will, I will create condition any client, which applies to all the clients. And I will uh, link this policy with the FAPI baseline profile. And uh, now, uh, now when I save this policy, all clients uh, must support FAPI or must use FAPI baseline. Uh, so now when I register a client, uh, another client, and create login URL, uh, it's, it's this kind of same URL as before. And when I click login, uh, Keycloak returns me some error that there is missing parameter code challenge method, and this parameter is exactly enforced by the FAPI, uh, and it's used uh, by Pix uh, Pixie. So I will mark here that I will use Pixie, and uh, here my cre uh, now create login URL needs to contain like additional parameters like code challenge 
and code challenge is the hash of some random string which was generated by the client and the uh, client will later send it in the token request uh, and Keycloak will then verify if the hash which is sent in the authorization request is uh, same as the like verif verifier which is sent uh, like in the token request. So yeah, those are maybe a little bit complicated concepts at the first look, but uh, like when you are used to OpenID Connect uh, protocol, it may not be that hard. And now when I click login, uh, I have another restriction because there is also missing parameter nonce, which is uh, like random uh, random parameter which needs to be also generated in the login URL and uh, it will be then presented in the token and client can verify after the authentication if nonce which it uh, generated before authentication matches with the nonce from the token. And uh, so now when I log in, I am finally able to uh, to be redirected to Keycloak and uh, login user and because user is already authenticated, he doesn't need to provide the credentials again, but he needs to uh, like a proof that he wants to uh, like uh, share his profile data and email address with the client application, which is showing this screen is exactly an also a requirement of the FAPI. Uh, and uh, yeah, so now user is uh, authenticated, uh, and th yeah, there, there are like tokens and like. For example, ID token now contains this nonce, uh, nonce claim, uh, which client needs to verify if it matches with the nonce which was used before. And uh, in similar manner, there is it's possible also to uh, like integrate with FAPI Advanced, and now the requirements are even more strict. Uh, but we have uh, like we have uh, like quite a short amount of time. So, are there any questions so far? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if I understand correctly, uh, you mean that uh, like, uh, yeah, so uh, your application can is uh, like integrated with Keycloak and Keycloak, uh, yeah, so Keycloak can uh, on the login screen, Keycloak uh, is able to delegate authentication to social providers like Google, uh, so that uh, like in the login screen like uh, like this, there will be button like sign in with Google. Uh, maybe I can quickly quickly show some some kind of demo. Like in Keycloak, you can create so-called identity providers. And uh, if I create some, like uh, I need to fill properly some metadata from Google. Uh, but when I do this, and uh, now. Um, yeah, so. And I log out the user and log in again. Okay, so I think that yeah, yeah. So uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, so now the login screen would contain some uh, some uh, button and it can delegate authentication to Google or other social provider or other Open ID Connect provider. Uh, are there any more questions? Mm -hmm. For example, let's say we, uh, we are the company, we use Keycloak, and, uh, uh, but we want to provide, we want to show that we are security compliant with uh, something like ISO or SOC uh, security certifications. Does the Keycloak have something to help with that? Um, yeah, so that's a good point. Keycloak is certified with the uh, like the certifications like FAPI. 
uh, which is exactly used uh, yeah, by this. Uh, so, for example, OpenID Foundation has a, certified, a list of certified providers here. And uh, like Keycloak is like uh, one of them, and uh, it's also certified with OpenID Connect providers. The certifications which you mentioned, I am uh, I'm not sure what they are exactly. So uh, I I don't know if uh, if uh, Keycloak is compliant or if Keycloak clients are compliant with them. Uh, but uh, yeah, like we can. The, you can try to ask uh, on the community uh, community mailing list in Keycloak, and maybe you will receive some responses, maybe from other people from community. 